own words, can you give us a spoiler-free synopsis of the film? It's set ten years after a kind of um, um, a zombie apocalypse, as it were. Uh, the difference being that um, this time we happen to win. Um, and in the rebuilding, a, some bright spark has come up with the idea of taking a Mediterranean island, uh, putting an exclusive resort on it, and paying the, uh, those with PTSD or the wealthy uh, pay to um, go and revenge kill what's left of the undead on the planet. Uh, and our heroine uh, is a girl who is um, suffering from post-traumatic stress that is advised to go, does so, and of course while she's there uh, it all goes spectacularly wrong. I think in most contemporary zombie stories at the moment, they seem to be like a kind of a version of Lord of the Flies. Effectively it's like what humanity becomes when we take the rules away. Um, and the sort of statement of intent from this from the start was how much more horrific we are when we win as a species. Um, and I, I, that I thought was a genuinely interesting setup for a different take. Plus the fact I always love Westworld mm. and the, the idea of kind of effectively remaking Westworld with zombies was just too fucking cool to say no really. For me it was like a flashback to like the post Vietnam um, horror films where it, there was kind of... Um, and to the echoes of the world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they were coming through. yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, I think the odd thing is that, like, like I say, we, we initially spoke in... I initially spoke to the producers in 2013. We shot through 2014. The way the world was perched, again, without trying to get into spoilers, yeah, yeah. was such that it was in the background and I thought it was something that we could... that, that we definitely... It, it was natural to the story that it came out. I think what was more scary is how the world came to the ideas of the story over the period of time that we made it. Well, it's got worse. I mean, exactly. I mean, you know what? What we can't tell you about, tell them about, is the reveal yeah. in the film. <laughs> but it has got worse. Indeed. What proved most difficult aspect of the film to shoot? All of it. All <laughs> of it. <laughs> it was. It was amazingly well. Essentially, the, the hardest thing going in from the start was we knew we had to create a believable environment, this, this resort, where effectively if you're going to do that in the real world, you're going to spend, they're going to spend infinitely more than we had for the entire budget of the movie to focus group and test and design a look and a feel mm -hmm. which you would instantly buy into and get. That was, that was tough in and of itself, but then also to deliver, again, when you've not got a lot of money, we only had like 34 days to shoot the entire thing over two countries, we were shooting in Wales. And that ended up being shot uh, at night we built it outside a studio in Wales and then had to match it and that leads to like nightmares for the, the characters who were all dressed to be in topic, tropical climbs. <laughs> They're in Wales, we're getting rained out, like on cut, people are running in with coats and duvets to stop them. There's a couple of takes we couldn't use because they were blue from, like, from the cold. But then actually recreating that in Spain and having to shoot parts of it. And then there's other elements that are shot in the studio. So it's, I mean, it was different in that everything I'd made up until this point I'd made in the UK. It's the first time I'd shot abroad. Um, although the crew in Mallorca where we shot the exteriors were, were magnificent. What I found fascinating about shooting this film though was that I had a wonderful director of photography, Roman Ozen, who had never done a genre picture and was actually well known for doing um, more art house kind of films. He'd worked with Asa Capaldi on films like The Warrior. I remember to actually convince the producers to let me use him, I, I showed them clips from Joe Wright's version of Pride and Prejudice with Kieran Knightley. <laughs> They're like, you want to shoot a zombie picture with this guy? I'm like, absolutely, look at his light, look at the way. Um, and so, and what it created, we had, a, we had a great working relationship. And what I loved was that I came with a, a mind full of growing up as a you know, first generation uh -huh. VHS kid, like just steeped in genre. And him really having not seen anything. I thought it was really interesting to have someone that didn't really know too much about that sort of stuff and was just looking at what was in front of him, was just looking at what the cast were doing um, and what the location was giving us and trying to find a way through the story based on the scene. The idea that the audience are going to go in knowing certain elements about it in terms of yeah. obviously the th something's going to go wrong at this place um, and sort of embrace that as much as I could um, which led to this idea of like even everything we did then with the movie the way we shot it um, the way we designed it was that the first half of the movie should feel like almost if the resort made a commercial about itself that's the way it would look and so it was shot in that way it was very mm -hmm. smooth very stylish very slick and then it become more and more grungy and handheld and fucked up as we went, as the whole thing kind of fell apart more. Horror fans being what they are, they're yeah. going to ask you, Yeah. why did you go with the fast zombies? 
I can actually dodge this because it was Paul's, Paul Gerstenberger's idea, the writer, but I, I loved it as an idea where um, I think the idea was that because we're 10 years after the war, mm -hmm. the old ones are actually slow and the fresh ones are fast. And so you have this combination and what I tried to do was kind of come up with set pieces where um, you use that, you use that difference and actually highlight that. It, it gets faster as the pace yeah, of the indeed. film quickens. It worked in a logical sense. Hmm. Um, much like the themes of the film, what I liked was that I didn't have to like kind of lay them on top of the movie. And I, I want, I'm not really a fan of that, where someone has an opinion and they kind of ram it or try and bolt it on the side of the film itself. It was just naturally within hmm. the story and I thought that was why it was kind of worth going with. Same with, it meant we could, we could have our cake and eat. I remember there was an idea, I, Again, it's like saving me from myself. There was an idea I was going to go completely differently with the zombies and like, oh my, perhaps they could evolve, perhaps they could do this. I could just, like, it's 10 years after we could do this total reinvention until I realised there was just no real opportunity within the film to explore that in a way that wouldn't have short changed. Do you know what I mean? It, if it was going to do that, it needed to land at the end and I yeah. couldn't. Again, all credit to the producer on that one for talking me out of that one. Mm -hmm.